Welcome back. Today on our journey through the Bible, we will learn about twins with opposite personalities. loves me yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me the bible tells me so esau and jacob our memory verse today comes from romans 9 verse 12. it was said unto her the elder shall serve the younger Children for Isaac and Rebecca. Isaac and Rebecca were married, and Rebecca could not have children. Isaac prayed for his wife, and she had twin boys, which they named Esau, the older, and Jacob, the younger. These boys were very different in looks and personality. Esau was red and hairy and loved being out of doors and was a very good hunter. Jacob was smooth and preferred being near home. As a result of their differences, Isaac preferred Esau and Rebekah preferred Jacob. Jacob's Deal Because Esau was older, he was to inherit most of what his father had and received the special blessing that God gave to Abraham. One day, Esau was out hunting and returned home hungry and asked Jacob for some food. Jacob told him he would give him the food in exchange for his birthright. So Esau agreed and ate the bread and lentils that Jacob gave him. Jacob and Rebekah's Trick some years later, when Isaac was old and mostly blind, he called Esau and told him to go hunting for venison. He told Esau to prepare the meat and come to receive the blessing. Rebekah heard this and remembered that God had said that Jacob was to receive the blessing. So she formed a plan. When Esau was out hunting for the venison, Rebekah cooked goat meat so that it tasted like venison. Then she gave Jacob Esau's clothes to wear and put goat skin on Jacob that he would feel hairy like Esau. Then she sent Jacob into his father Isaac to receive the blessing. When Jacob went to his father, Isaac was shocked that Esau returned so quickly from hunting. Jacob told him that the Lord had helped him with the hunt. Isaac was still suspicious because the voice he heard sounded like Jacob. So he told his son to come near, that he could feel him, and be sure that he was Esau. So Jacob came near to Isaac, and he felt the hairy arms and smelt Esau's smell from his clothes. Isaac was satisfied that Jacob was Esau, so he ate the food Jacob brought, and then he blessed Jacob. Soon after Isaac blessed Jacob, Esau returned from hunting. He too prepared food for his father, and came for his blessing. Isaac told him that someone else came pretending to be him, and that person has received the blessing. Esau was very angry with Jacob. For tricking him out of his birthright and his blessing. Esau vowed that he would kill Jacob. So Rebekah told Jacob to run away from home and go to her brother Laban. Jacob obeyed and quickly packed up and went to his uncle's home. God's Promise to Jacob on his way to Laban, Jacob stopped to rest because it was getting dark. He found a safe place and took a stone for his pillow. That night, he had a dream. God spoke to him in this dream. 
In his dream, he saw a ladder stretching from earth all the way up to heaven. On the ladder, he saw angels going up and down. In the dream, God repeated the promise he gave to Abraham. God promised Jacob that the land where he was would be his, and his family would grow to be a great nation and spread all over the land. And through his family, the whole world would be blessed. God also promised Jacob that he would be with him and bring him back safely to his home. When Jacob woke up, he set up his stone pillow as a marker. He called that place Bethel because God was there. Then he made a promise to God that if he would protect him and bring him back home, that the Lord would be his God forever and that he would give the Lord one-tenth of everything that God would give him. Now it's time for our activity. What did Esau give up for food? Yes, he gave up his birthright. What did Isaac ask Esau to bring him? Correct, venison, that's deer meat. What did Jacob put on to feel like Esau? Correct, goat skin. Esau must have been very hairy. Try to write or say the memory verse from memory. Then take a sheet of paper and draw and color a picture of Jacob bringing his father food. Next time, we'll read about the turns of Jacob's life. Yes, Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me so.